Hmm. No, no, no. Okay, here's what it is. Their cats are white and black. Okay, well that, I feel... Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, can I get a ruling? Because I was told that this was fine. Chat, chat, there's no problem. What's the problem? We don't need to argue with computers. All right, YouTube. Welcome back. We are about to do another Duolingo Indonesian stream. Let's learn Duolingo together. Let's have a nice, calm, relaxing time. Learn some Duolingo. Scratch our heads a bit. Fill out a spreadsheet, I don't know. Uh, before we, we head in, though, I would just like to thank all of our patrons for making this episode possible. You make all of the things that we do possible, so a big thank you to the patrons. And I think, without further ado, let's scoot over into Indonesian Duolingo land. All right, so let's get our bearings, because I haven't touched this in about two weeks. So we have our, we have our spreadsheet here, which has now accumulated... Ooh, a hundred and a hundred and just over 150 words. That's kind of cool. Uh, we have advanced in the tree from the basics all the way down to the first golden tower, which we have yet to uh, which we have yet to storm. So that's our plan, I think, today. We need to learn one more skill in order to be able to. Oh, did you see that? Look at that little animation. That's nice. Oh, that's cute. See, it's the little things in life, isn't it? Uh, so we need to learn about plurals. And then I believe we're going to be given the chance to open up this new this new realm, the inner fortress. So I don't know. Why don't we get started? I don't remember half the things that, uh, that we did last time, but hopefully it'll all come back to me. And away we go. Got the tips thing open just in case. Apple, apple itu ada di dapur. Apel apel itu ada ada di dapur. Apel apel itu ada di dapur. Ada di dapur. Apel apel itu ada di dapur. Okay. Um, uh, oh, let's 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 ponder. Itu that was those those apples are. Oh dear, this this two week break is coming back to haunt me here. I'm going to have to look this up. D, that's a preposition of some kind, but I forget which one. D is at. So these those apples are, I'm assuming, in the kitchen, tapur? Kitchen, okay. Yeah, oh, this is brutal. All right, forward. So we have some reduplication. I think that's what it's trying to teach us here. Apple, apple. Jeruk, jeruk saya ada di dapur. Jeruk, jeruk saya ada di dapur. My oranges are in the kitchen. Apple, apple itu merah. Apple, apple itu merah. So this, I'm assuming this, this lesson is going to teach us all about reduplication. Um, in, in Indonesian, telling us, uh, giving us information about, about plural morphology, essentially. Um, although it's interesting that we, we saw before that um, Indonesian doesn't seem to have obligatory plural marking. You can interpret a, a noun as singular or plural if it's if it's just on its own, if it's a singleton. Um, but I guess if it's reduplicated, you're sort of forced into the plural reading. That's that's my analysis so far. I don't know. Um, Indonesian knowers, let me know. Kucing kucing mereka hitam dan putih. Ah, kucing kucing mereka hitam dan putih. So this is. This means their cats, kucing kucing mereka, they're hitam. Hmm, they're white cats maybe? They're white cats, um, dan puti. Hmm, and, no, 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 okay, here's what it is. Their cats are white and black. Hitam dan puti. Okay, subject, predicate. Okay, well that, I feel... Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Logically equivalent, but fair enough. Dia menulis surat-surat ini. Dia menulis surat-surat ini. Um, she writes these letters. Okay. I think maybe what I'll do is, after we finish this, this skill, is dip back down and, and do some review because 
the vocab is slipping. The vocab is slipping. Koran koran ini dari Jakarta. Koran koran ini koran koran ini dari Jakarta. These newspapers are from dari from Jakarta, right? Right. Kucing saya tidak suka gaun-gaun hitam. Kucing saya tidak suka gaun-gaun hitam. Um, kucing saya tidak. So my cat um, does not suka like hitam black dresses. Gaun-gaun hitam black dresses. Okay, hitam black. This is what we've learned. Putih white. Tini punya buku-buku ini di rumah. Tinya punya buku-buku ini di rumah. Um, Tini has these books um, at home. Di rumah. Yes, okay. Andy's cats like milk. This will be kucing kuc I'm not going to look. Kucing kucing Andy suka milk 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 i don't remember susu susu is milk minum is a beverage in general i think so kuchu, kuching kuching andi suka susu is my guess all right she does not like white dresses okay this is going to be something like dia tidak suka gaun gaun putti da ah, there we go yeah. Okay. Those apples are in the kitchen. Um, okay, don't look, don't look. Apple, apple, itu mm, di da, 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 pur? da pur. Apple, apple, itu. Oh, no, I forgot the ada. That's the locative predicator. Okay. Choose the correct meaning. We read newspapers and books. Okay, so I'm, I've seen them already, so there's no point in, in guessing. Um, kami membaca korang korang dan buku buku. This is going to be right. Hello, chat. Oh, we got. Uh, are we memeing? Are we memeing in the chat? Good. I wouldn't have it any other way. She writes these letters. Oh yeah, here's where we get ia instead of dia, which apparently happens sometimes. Ia menulis surat surat ini. These letters and books are mine. Okay, okay. Surat surat dan buku buku ini mm, are mine. I don't remember what how to say are mine, but we got the noun phrase right. Um, Ini punya saya. Surat surat dan buku buku ini punya saya. I think that's the answer. Right. Oh, what was punya? It was it's have, right? But there's also something else. Yeah. So it's, this is like these letters and books have I. Almost reminds me of uh, like V two there. I don't know if that's the right analysis. Continue. Uh, okay, my oranges are in the kitchen. Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. Oh, it's everywhere. Um, joru, joru, saya, ada di dapur. Okay, now they've gone and they've added that that ku again. Um, but I think I think my answer would have would have counted, right? Jeruk jerukku. So we have the this possessive suffix, clitic. Not sure. Um, on, going on to the reduplicated noun. Kucing kucing mereka hitam dan putih. Kucing kucing mereka hitam dan putih. Okay, so this is the this is the challenge one, right? Their cats are black and white. Hitam dan putih. Yes, okay, we got it this time. And we've got a one day streak. How about that chat? How about that? Uh, okay. Great. Super and excellent. Okay. All right. So, chat, how we doing? I'm struggling a bit with this vocabulary. Two weeks, I think, is maybe too much to keep it in, uh, to keep it in mind. 
but uh, this is this is life. Let's take a look at the let's take a look at the grammar um, because we had some we had some questions or at least I had some questions uh, when we were going through and you know Duolingo does have this this uh, this tips thing where, where it tells you all about the grammar if you are so inclined and I think you I think you kind of have to be so inclined in order to get the most of this. Uh, so here you'll learn a thing or two about plural words in Bahasa. In is it Bahasa Indo Indonesia? Is that the uh, is that the pronunciation? Re my I guess my more specific question is: Is this an a or an a? So you can almost immediately recognize whether a word word is singular or plural by its repetition. So this is referring to reduplication, full reduplication, um, and linguistic key thing. Um, Reduplication is a uh, morphological uh, process that uh, takes some part of um, some part of a, a word or um, or other bit of the language and doubles it in some sense, in some way. And sometimes this doubling is uh, full doubling, and this is what we call total reduplication or full reduplication. So buku going to buku buku uh, to mean books, and it is often the case that reduplication uh, has an iconic function. What is an iconic function? An iconic function is a function where the form maps on some way, in some way to the function. So with uh, reduplication, you're, you're literally, you're getting more of the same word, right? You're getting the same word twice. And here it's expressing plurality, which is, a, it's like more of the same thing. So you have the word coming more than once to indicate that the, the, um, the thing that the word refers to is in the plural. So this is a kind of iconic use of reduplication. Pluralization is a pretty common use of reduplication. Um, things like uh, frequentatives, you know, expressing the idea that someone does a verb frequently. Um, that's another use of reduplication that's iconic and 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 shows up a lot. But there are also non-iconic uses of redu of reduplication. Yeah, I have a. I have an article on this on the blog. So if you go to my website, it's one of the most recent ones, um, which is just callandgory.com. You can read all about redu uh, reduplication and its typology. It's quite complicated, actually, when you get into it. Um, all right. So what else are we going to learn about Indonesian plural reduplication? Um, you cannot... Well, the one thing... Okay, so here's one... Th oh, sorry, that was a bit loud. Here is one thing that I don't totally agree with the um I, I think it's slightly inconsistent what they've said because it says that it should be noted that you can almost immediately recognize whether or not a word is singular or plural by its repetition but i don't think it's true that you can recognize that a word is singular merely by the fact that it doesn't reduplicate because it explicitly said earlier that you can ha you know a bare form can be interpreted as singular or plural so i think that's that's slightly uh, slightly inaccurate unless Unless I've, I'm misremembering that that earlier lesson. Uh, okay, there are no plural forms for some objects that already have um, repetition in their name. So if it's already reduplicated, it doesn't reduplicate um, further to pluralize. So you don't uh, you don't get kupu 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 kupu. <laughs> you know, getting four for them, it just uh, it just stays at two. Kura 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 turtle. Um, doesn't go, become kura 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 kura. <laughs> it uh, it just stays. Um, you can express the word as plural by using a singular noun and numeric words in front of it. Uh, so when the quantity is mentioned, so when you have a numeral, you don't reduplicate. Okay, so I, I don't know what this really means. Do or don't. Does anyone can anyone interpret this chart? I can't really interpret this chart. Yeah. Also echoed words. <laughs> you can almost immediately recognize whether a word is singular or not by its singular or plural by its repetition. And then it gives you examples of um, reduplicated nouns that are not plural. So I don't know about this uh, this explanation. Um, and I don't understand this chart. Do or don't. Do or don't what? Reduplicate? Here you're reduplicating, but here you are not reduplicating. This is completely confusing to me. Oh, is it supposed to be don't? Okay, so these things that are marked don't or some variant of don't are supposed to be ungrammatical. 
could you just please, please put a little star in front of it? That's all I ask. Okay, fine, fine. You've confused me. And chat, you've rescued me. Um, okay, so then what else do we have? The noun is not repeated when it's obvious from context if it's singular or plural. That's just a sort of a generalization of what they're saying here. And the noun is not repeated when talking about it in general. So uh, in English, we have this kind of generic plural when talking about things that are are true of the whole class. Dog, you know, in general, true of the class, rather. Uh, dogs eat bones. But uh, it looks like in Indonesian, you don't use a reduplicated form for this kind of generic um, use. Cool. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, now that you, you say that it's showing grammatical versus ungrammatical, I understand it, but like it would be cool maybe if they <laughs> introduced that idea um, maybe at the start or say something like that, um, that what the do or don't means. Um, but hey, 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 you know, every, to, each, to each, uh, and so on. All right, so let's, uh, let's, let's move on, shall we? Uh, more plurals, I think. We've already tried the tips. Dia makan kue kue saya. Dia makan kue kue saya. Oh, so he eats kue kue. Well, kue kue saya, something my. And we only have one noun here, so cakes. Great. I think we have a new word. That's new, right? Oh, no, it's not new. Oh, sad. Okay, fine. Hotel hotel itu ada di sini. Hotel hotel itu ada di sini. Um, those hotels are here. Those hotels are here. Kue kue saya enak. Kue kue saya enak. Enak. Kue kue saya enak. Colin, remember what enak means? Challenge 2022 edition rated impossible. Enak, delicious, okay. Gedung gedung itu hotel. Gedung gedung itu hotel. Um, those buildings are hotels. Bola bola ini merah dan putih. Bola bola ini merah dan putih. Okay, I remember, I remember. These balls are red and white. Yes. I almost feel like <laughs> doing that, that scene from Liar Liar, you know, with the, the color of the pen that I hold in my hand. Sekolah sekolah itu ada di sini. Sekolah sekolah itu ada di sini. Um, those schools are here. Right? Yeah. All rumah right. rumah merah di Jakarta. Rumah rumah merah di Jakarta. Hmm. Red houses in Jakarta. Not really a sentence. But there you go. Toko toko saya ada di pasar. Toko toko saya ada di pasar. Okay. Toko toko. This is this is stores, right? Yeah. Um, my. It is. It is. It's stores, right? Let's just double check. Stores. Yeah. My stores. Oh, okay. Hi, Rola here. You got multiple stores. Um, toko toko saya ada di pasar. Uh, my stores are. Mm, I, I want to say in the market, but at the market. Fair enough. Anjing anjing saya tidak suka kucing. Anjing anjing saya tidak suka kucing. Uh, my dogs are do not like cats. My dogs do not like cats. Okay. Okay, we you know the rust is coming off. Things are moving. We're get, we're we're getting there. We're getting there. Red houses in Jakarta. Rumah rumah merah di Jakarta. To be fair, I don't really consider hovering over the words cheating, but I consider it to be slightly less fun. Um, so if you want to hover over the words, be, all, be my guest. I mean, hey, I'm, I'm looking things up to the side, right? So <laughs> I don't really have much of a leg to stand on regarding cheating. But um, 
I don't like to accidentally hover over the word when I was trying to rem when I'm trying to remember it. That's my that's my position on hovering. This is her book. Um, oh, okay. This is her book. This is going to be Ini Bukunya because Nya is the third person singular possessive suffix. Ini Bukunya. I like big hotels. I'm not going to say anything. I'm really tempted to make a joke here, but I'm not going to say anything. Um, I like big hotels. Aku suka hotel, hotel basar. Basar is big, right? Yes. And the, the, the streak of making jokes, of not making jokes, is going to continue. Um, kuching saya suka bola bola ini. My dogs do not like cats. Anjing anjing saya tidak suka kucing. Okay, feeling powerful. Feeling powerful. Hubris rising. Those schools are here. Sekola. Sekola. Itu. Itu. Ada. Ada. Di sini. Di sini. Okay, can I get a ruling? Can I get a ruling? Because I was told that this was fine. Chat, any Indonesian native speakers in the chat can help me out here and, you know, give me a moral victory at least. You know, that's, it went to the whole trouble of saying, you don't need to mark something specifically as plural. And then lo and behold, now you do, because that's what they want to teach you in this lesson. We're opening this up. Someone else has got to have the same problem. Why can't I just put Sokola? It doesn't differentiate plural or singular, as we have learnt. Yes, I have the same thought. Um, and then they say, okay, yes, we do use this reduplication, but I don't know. And of course, it is locked. <sighs> I mean, yeah, Galactic Sand, you're right. I could go ahead and... and look and see if they intend for me to repeat it, but I kind of don't want to have to guess what their intention is. I kind of want to just learn to speak the language, but you know, that's my own, my own, uh, personal. Um, okay. Well, let's move on. Saya. Okay. What's go is pergi. Saya pergi. Saya pergi. Ke. Saya pergi ke, I think. Toko toko itu. Toko toko itu. Okay. Okay. It just, to me, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to get sidetracked trying to argue with a computer program. It's pointless. Um, but. Sekolah. Sekolah. I got the second one this time, Duolingo. Itu. Ada. Di. Sini. There we go. Okay. It's just a bit weird to have. Okay. I said I wasn't going to argue, but it's just a bit weird, isn't it? To have something that it says. Like maybe it isn't a grammatical form. I'm not a native speaker of Indonesian, but assuming that that with the one sekola is a grammatical form, to say it's wrong, just because the se the lesson wants you to do something else, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This was supposed to be chill, right? Chill. There's no, there's n there's no problem. It's all fine. It's all fine. Chat, chat. There's no problem. What's the problem? We don't need to argue with computers. They're just our friends. And they're going to help us learn Indonesian. So just smile. Okay. There we go. We are one XP away from our daily goal. I guess. But more importantly, we're now on level one. We are free to advance. Um, but I think we will keep, keep, just keep. okay. But I think we'll put in a, a quick break for YouTube here. And uh, YouTube, thank you uh, very much for joining us for what was less chill than perhaps advertised, but I think uh, still fairly amusing. Um, we'll be back with more Indonesian. So join us next time. Until then. <laughs>